Like many features in iOS, sending an email is accomplished via a framework that includes a standard UI. The process is the same most of the time. This makes it a great candidate for abstracting out. In this video, we'll look at how to create an extension on UI View Controller so any view controller in your code can easily present the email composition view controller. There's just a couple things we need to do to get started. We need to have an Xcode project, so you may want to create a single view Xcode project to practice, or you can just add it to an existing project. We're going to include the message UI framework, and then we're going to create a new file for the extensions. You can name that whatever you like, but I'll go through the steps in the coming up video. Then we're going to import the message UI into that new file, and then we'll create our extension. To create the extension, we're going to define a function to create the mail compose view controller with a function and pass in certain parameters. We'll check to make sure that the device is set up to send email and will return nil if not. Then we'll create the mail compose view controller, set the delegate, configure it, including attachments, and return it. We'll have two other functions, one to present the mail compose view controller and one to handle the callback on that delegate for whenever the user is finished sending the email. So let's get started. So we're going to create an extension on view controller so that any view controller in your project can send email using the built-in mail compose view controller. So the first thing we want to do is go to our target in the general tab and under the linked frameworks and libraries add our message UI framework. Double click on that we have that in our code. So now we're going to add a new Swift file. So go to right click on your project folder and select new file. We want an iOS Swift file and I'm going to name it extvc. And in here we'll import our message UI framework that we just added to our project. So I'll type on line 10 import message UI. And then on line 12 I'll start my extension with extension UI view controller. So we're going to add a few functions to this. We're going to add a function to create the mail compose view controller. We're going to add a function to present it and we're going to add a function to handle the delegate callback for when the user is done composing the email. We could present the mail compose view controller directly in here but we're going to return it instead just in case the caller wants to check anything, set anything, or present it in a different way. So on line 14 we'll write func create mcvc and we'll take a few parameters. We'll take recipients and that's going to be an array of strings. It's optional in case they don't want to specify the to field. We'll have a subject that's also a string, a body that's a string, and is HTML and this will be a bool if the text being passed in for the body is HTML and that will default to false. And then we'll specify images which is an array of UI image and that's also an optional. They don't have to add any attachments. If you want to add attachments of another type you can change that type. And the return type is going to be an MF mail compose view controller. The first thing we want to do is check to make sure that they can send email. So we'll have a guard, MF mail, compose view controller can send mail. And if they can't, we'll have the else and we'll return nil. So now we need to make sure that our return type is an optional. Also, we want to display a message to the user. So I'm going to put a quick extension in here to create an alert controller that pops up an OK message to the user. So in here I can type display message, no email, configure email and try again. So if we get past this we know they can send email and we can continue on. So the first thing we'll do after that is we'll instantiate the MF mail compose view controller and we'll start setting its parameters like two recipients to the recipients passed in. We'll set the subject to the subject passed in. We'll set the body to the body passed in including the isHTML flag and then we're going to add the attachments. So for images we'll call for each and for each image 
we'll convert it to a data representation. We'll use the JPEG data representation so that we can compress it. It returns an optional, so we'll optionally bind it with if let data equal UI image JPEG representation, pass in the image, a compression of 0.5, something in the middle. You can make it whatever you need. And on the MCVC, we'll add an attachment. We'll pass in the data. We'll make the mind type JPEG and we'll specify a file name of image. If you want to specify an image for each file, you could pass in a second array of strings that are the file names. And then finally, we're going to return the MCVC. So we've created it and returned it. Now we can provide a mechanism for the caller to present it. So we'll have present MCVC that takes an MCVC that's of type MS, MF mail composed view controller. And all it's going to do is present the view controller, calling the built in present. The caller could call this as well with no completion. And then finally, we want a function to handle the callback for when the user is finished. So since we're going to implement the delegate, we need to declare that and declare we implement it. So back up here where we create our MCVC, we want to set the delegate to be self. And since we claim we implement the delegate, we should come up here and actually claim that we implement the delegate here. The mail composed view controller also requires a navigation controller delegate. There's nothing required of either of those so we don't have to implement anything to claim we implement it. But now we have the code complete for the mail compose view controller delegate. So we can type did finish. And the first thing we want to do is dismiss the view controller that was displayed with no completion. And then we may want to check the result for something like failed or canceled and display a message. So now that we create it, we can present it, and we can handle the response, we need to use it. So we'll go to our view controller, and we're going to implement the did view did appear. First call the super view did appear, and then we're going to create the mail compose view controller by calling self create mail Compose view controller MCVC. We'll pass in one email address, the subject of test, the body of hello, and no images. Then we can present it the typical way or the way we did it in our extension. And then the delegate will handle the response. So that's all the code we have to type once we have the extension. Now since this returns an optional, we need to optionally bind it. And we'll put this in the closure of the if statement. Okay, so now it will print, uh, present the mail composed view controller to the user if they have email set up. Since the simulator doesn't, I'll have to run this on my phone. So I've set a few breakpoints. I'm going to run the app on my phone and bring that up. So I'll run it. It should launch the app on my phone. The view did load is going to create the mail compose view controller and present it. If I go back here, I can see I've got all those things set in here, the to email address, the subject, the body. And if I tap cancel, on my phone. I can select delete draft. And you notice it doesn't go away. Now this is a trick that I, or a trap that I've fallen into before. So you have to set this mail compose delegate, not just the delegate. So now I'll run it again. And now we'll be able to make sure that our callback for did finish is called. So after it displays, I'll tap cancel, delete draft, and now our callback is called and it should be dismissed. It didn't fail, so there's no message. Of course, the view did appear is gonna continually 
call the functionality to display this. So here's what we did again to create the extension. We defined the function to create the MCVC with the parameters. We checked to make sure that the device was set up to send email, and then we created the MCVC and set the delegate. Remember to set the correct delegate, a mail composed delegate. That's the one that has the callback for it did finish. Then we configured the MCVC, including the attachments, and we returned it. And we have the two other functions to present it and handle the finish. I hope this helped. I'd love to hear how you used it and any feedback you have. Have a good one. Thanks a lot.